Hello everybody. Just thought I'd tell y'all I canceled my tractor supply thing. I'm currently out here looking for another place to buy uh, kennel equipment from. Hey dog, what do you think? You don't know? It's gonna be hard. I'm trying to find a place to buy dog kennels from. Probably gonna have to drive an extra hundred miles. You say, why'd you quit tractor supply? Well, they're giving money to, to Christian hate organizations. Not people that, uh, not Christians that hate, it's people that hate Christianity. They hate God. The All the LBGT quote, uh, woke stuff is 100% haters of Christ. Now, technically, this is America. You can hate all you want to. But when you force me to give money to them, no, nah, that's, that's something I can't do. Uh, so the beast system is here 100%. All the corporations that we're forced to do business with are giving a portion of your money to the, uh, to the LBGTQ stuff. They write, the, the government's in on it because they make it a tax deduction. They say, oh, that's charitable. That's 501c3. No, they're promoting a sexual preference. That's not a charitable organization. So corporations giving money to Christian hate groups, and there's so many of them now that you cannot buy or sell or work or trade unless you go through one of these companies that, that force this homosexual agenda on you. It's forced. Tell me, I go to Lowe's, there's nothing I can do about Lowe's. Tractor Supply is just a local company. Uh, the church can make a dent there. That's something church can do. If the church actually woke up and quit giving money to these uh, to these folks, all you gotta do is go on their corporate website and see if they're giving money to LBGTQ plus plus all that. If they're giving money to it, you are donating to the organization too because where do they get their money? They get it from profits. Technically, if I was a shareholder, a corporation wouldn't be giving any money to anybody. You should be neutral. Your job is to make money. Your job is to make money for me, the shareholder. Not to give it to anybody. I don't care who it is. Your money is to make profit. You should be non-political. So corporations that get into politics and they, they shouldn't give to the church, they shouldn't give to people that are anti-church. Their business is to make money. That's the sole fo focus of a corporation. You know, a corporation has a duty to the, to the shareholders, not to political organizations, not to agendas. But, you know, I guess I'm, I'm crazy. You know, people say I'm crazy for thinking this way. So, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I had been buying, I mean, you know I run a kennel, so tens of thousands of dollars I've spent at Tractor Supply that are no more as of today. I went into the store, I told them, I says, nothing personal against you personally, but I cannot do business here because your CEO is giving money to anti-Christian hate groups which is the LBGTQ community. You're giving them money, therefore you're supporting Christian hate. Total everything against God in the Bible. Now, I'm not saying that we should throw them off the roof like the Muslims, but we do have to not have nothing to do with them. But right now, in this country, you are being forced against, whether you know it or not, you are forced to give money to these groups by all these big corporations. They call it inclusivity. That's another word for white hate. They hate. Like I said, corporations should be indifferent. Corporations should be, we don't care what you do. We just want your money. <laughs> That's it. We don't do politics. We don't do religion. We don't do sex or nothing. We don't care if you're white. We don't care if you're black. We care how good you stock a shelf. 
But no, no, now we have to uh, give extra preference, preferential treatment to you because of your skin color. We gotta give you special treatment because you like to stick your weenie in people, uh, another man's booty hole. Or women like to have sex with other women. You know what, they say love is love. Well, let me tell you something. Dog, dog, hey, hey, I love dog but I don't stick my weenie in them. You wouldn't appreciate that, would you? No, you would not. You would not like that. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, this love thing, sex has nothing to do with love. So, sex is procreation. Which even, and when you start bringing science into it, science even says homosexuality is illogical. It's a mental disorder. So, maybe we should just treat it as that. It's a mental disorder. It's a sickness. But, anyway, have fun being forced. Uh, homosexuals forcing themselves on all of us. Because whether you like it or not, uh, the beast system that the Bible speaks about is here right now. Tell me. Tell me. Go ahead. Look it up. Go to any where you go shopping at corporate, whether it be Kroger's or or Lowe's or Walmart or any of them. Oh, we're woke. We're inclusive. We're DEI, diversity, inclusion. Yeah, inclusive of everybody except the majority. So, therefore, you are being forced into this agenda. You won't be able, you cannot today buy, you can't work. Where are you going to work at? What corporation is going to come out against this? You can't work, buy, sell. You can't get a, a business loan without being pro-woke. That's right. Go to the Small Business Association, try to get a loan. They give preferential treatment. If you're, if I say, if I go down to the bank, I got to check on that stupid form that I'm in my black lesbian. Otherwise, I ain't getting no loan. So you want to see? Uh, you want to see racism, state-funded racism and f state funded hate? This whole DEI, that that's there you go. It's state funded hate. They hate the Bible, they hate Christians, and the Christians are being forced to work with you. There's no you have no choice. There's no choice now. You can't go buy gas without giving it giving your money to some woke corporation. Because we have allowed the homosexuals to take over, the sodomites. Anyway, there's my rant for today. <laughs>